In the interim duo, the top three placings have been decided, but the rest of the placings are still up for grabs. Cousins, Curtis and McKeegan will all see their scores increase because they've dropped two rounds, or in Tim's case, scored a four and a zero. Knapp and Chapman will have to race well though to maintain their points. Tim McKeegan stuck it on pole ahead of Peacock, Oliver and Cousins, with Trundley starting from the third row of the grid. It was a tidy start from the Inters as McKeegan led the way. Gibson and Chapman got the better of Perry into turn five, with Chapman making the move stick through the undulating turn six. By the end of the first lap, Cousins had made it up to third as the top nine began to break away from the rest of the pack. McKeegan's lead was under threat from the formidable pair of Cousins and Trundley. On lap 9, McKeegan left the door open at turn 7 and Cousins was through. Three laps later, Trundley slipped past at turn 4. Trundley and Cousins were pulling away from the rest of the pack. And on lap 25, Trundley used turn 4 again to his advantage, taking the lead from Cousins. Close battles ensued throughout the field. Having led the race for 10 laps, Trundley's exhaust developed an issue that forced him to pit and forfeit the lead back to Cousins. Marshall's got Trundley turned around in record time and he was back out in 13th with it all to do again. Kirk was having a great battle with Peacock for second but had to settle for third. Trundley clawed his way back up to eighth and Cousins took his second D-Max Enduro win of the season. Unbelievable race, fantastic result. Poor Bobby though. Yeah, he really didn't deserve that. He had better pace than me to be honest I'm in the start of the race. So I do feel really sorry for him, but I've got to take what I can get in the end. So I came out with a win, but it was unfortunate because he really didn't deserve that to be honest. You won by 27 seconds, didn't you? Yeah, well, it was a really, really good battle. We were pulling clear of um, the rest of the field. The cart I had was amazing. Um, so just had some really good pace. I have got to point out your boots. They're yeah. so cool. Where did you get them from? Uh, just off Demon Tweaks website. They're amazing. Some, I ordered the black ones originally and they delivered the wrong ones, but I thought I'd stick with them. So. Absolutely. So, championship next year? Got to be between you and Bobby. I'd hope so, yeah. I think with the, the year I've had so far, being my first year in DMAX has been sort of a learning year. So, going into next year, I'd hope that it's us two battling it out. That's going to be really exciting to watch. Can't wait. But, Ollie, really good to see you on the podium rather than the wall this time. Yeah, yeah. Tamworth was a, a challenging track for me. I hadn't carted a long time before then. And, Made a few mistakes, but this this week found some uh, found some good pace, a bit more experience, and, and the uh, rewards paid off. Totally stoked about that. It was an awesome result for me. I haven't had a very good result all season really, so to be on the podium with third place with this trophy, I'm really happy with that. Very I love happy. how you hold it. It's really proud. You look very proud. I'm never gonna let this go. You know, it's my second trophy of two seasons now, so you're gonna have to prize this out of my cold dead hands, as they say. You know. Love that. Now, where do you see yourself next year? Uh, hopefully in the top five of the championship. Um, it's a very competitive season, so anywhere in the top five I'm extremely happy with. Top ten I'm pretty happy with as well. So, so you've wrapped up second position in the championship. Next year, surely your tip for the title. What do you think? I might be. I'm, I'm thinking of moving down to the lights because uh, I'm going to start working out like a madman and yeah. going on a diet. Your mum was telling me actually, <laughs> you've been really good, you've been really disciplined. I've been, I've been a bit cheeky this weekend. Have you now? <laughs> Why have you been cheeky? A bit put on a teeny bit, but I could lose it. I could lose it over Christmas. No Christmas dinner. No, not over Christmas, after Christmas. Yeah. You yeah. start again in February, don't you? So hopefully in February you'll be ready for the lights. Yeah, we'll see. So surely then the lights will have their hands full next year. Who do you think will be your main competition? Pretty much all the front runners at the moment. I mean, it is so tight packed those, with those guys. What's made you want to uh, do the lights? Because I'm because I feel like I'm too heavy for my age. No, nah. oh, Bobby. <laughs> nah, just want more closer race and want them having a more enjoyable time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I look forward to that. Well done, Bobby. You did race really, really well today. Thank you.